Now, even though the video title says that these wallpapers are for triple monitor setups, you could absolutely use them for single monitor setups, ultra wide setups, or even dual monitor setups. A lot of these wallpapers will adapt to your desktop resolution because they're like dynamic resolution wallpapers. So you should be okay, no matter what kind of gaming setup you're rocking. These wallpapers that I'm gonna be showing you today should give your setup a fresh feel, it's 2022, maybe you're looking for just some new wallpapers, all right? You're bored of what you currently have and you want something better. So you've come to the right video, all right? Because I have compiled an enormous library of so many different wallpapers. Some of them even have a time and date displayed on the actual wallpaper itself. Others have a music visualizer built into the actual wallpaper and a couple of them can even sync up with your Corsair or Razer peripherals on your actual setup. So depending on the color of your wallpaper, that color can match the color of your PC build, your keyboard, your mouse. Everything can be in sync at the same time, which is pretty cool. With all that said, you can find every one of the wallpapers I'm about to show you in the video description down below. Alongside everything in my actual gaming setup is also linked in the video description in case you want to go pick up anything that you see here and support the channel by shopping through my links on Amazon. We are of course going to be using the one and only wallpaper engine app over on Steam to customize these wallpapers, find new ones, do everything through this one application. The reason I like it so much is because it actually syncs up with the Steam Workshop where I can upload a wallpaper for everyone else to use. You can upload your own wallpapers, make it your own, do whatever you want and upload it for the rest of the community that also has the Wallpaper Engine app to use. It's really cool, uh, but because this app does cost money and from my previous video about this application and animated wallpapers, I saw a lot of people actually um, didn't own it. So what I'm gonna do in this video, because the previous one did so good, way beyond my expectations, I'm gonna give away a copy to three of you watching this video. All you have to do is leave a comment down below. And if you happen to win and you already own Wallpaper Engine, then you can pass it forward to one of your Steam friends. You can, of course, pair this up with the Razer Chroma application, or if you have Corsair things in your setup, then you can pair that up with Corsair IQ. All you gotta do is head over to the settings button right here, go over to plugins, tick the IQ and Chroma SDK, press OK, it will restart Wallpaper Engine, but it only takes like one second. And if we go back over to our Razer Synapse application, boom, we now have Wallpaper Engine over here. An alternative way to sync up the color of your wallpaper to your LED devices in your setup, like your Nano Leafs, your PC components, your mouse, your keyboard, is instead of relying on Wallpaper Engine to actually use the enable LED effects, which not every wallpaper has the enable LED effects like option. Instead of relying on the native wallpaper engine integration, you can disable that, head over to Chroma Studio, for example, and enable something like the ambient awareness mode. Uh, you can also do that through the Nano Leaf desktop application. So if we go ahead and select one of my favorites, the blue screen of death wallpaper, you can see this one doesn't have the enable LED effects option, but everything is still synced up to the color of my primary desktop monitor. However, for today's video, I think I'm gonna mainly allow Wallpaper Engine to do its own thing and control everything by itself. If you are unhappy with the position of the main portion of this wallpaper, which is over on the left monitor here, you can actually go ahead and flip the entire wallpaper. And now he's gonna be over here instead of on my left monitor. What I would also recommend with a wallpaper like this, for example, the death machine, which I've actually showed in a previous video already, what I would recommend you do is crank up the contrast considerably so that at least from my own opinion this looks way better um, at least in person the gray background if you have it on like the normal setting 50 percent contrast it looks fine if that's what you're going for but personally i like the background of a wallpaper like this to be fully black and if anything else is going on cool but i just want the background to be black so Generally, if it isn't black, you can just crank up the contrast. Over in the settings portion of this application, these are my settings that I've been running. Uh, 45 FPS, high quality textures, 
uh, we have ultra post processing msa times eight reflections are on what is important to cover is how much system resources are you going to have to dedicate to run these animated wallpapers in the background and the answer to that is it's going to vary a lot depending on what kind of wallpaper you're trying to run so the one i have on now is actually a half a gigabyte wallpaper it's called dubai equalizer this one is very unique in a way because it has both uh, visualization bars for music and it also has a clock that you can enable so we have time and date and there's also this like animated thing wherever you move your mouse when we play music as you can see the music visualization over on the main monitor is doing its thing it's really cool there are so many things that you can actually adjust on this one wallpaper but as you can see with this one uh the system resources yeah it's doing quite a bit let's try something less insane because this one is like half a gigabyte which is kind of crazy let's see something like this toyota supra very nice car now this one is actually only using um maybe two percent cpu usage i mean there's nothing going on like there are some effects right here for like smoke out of the exhaust the best way to use the wallpaper engine app in my opinion is to select pause per monitor in these settings for focused maximized and full screen as whenever you are not trying to you know look at a plain desktop and you're doing something else like you have a game open on on your main monitor you probably don't want wallpaper engine running in the background maybe you do and you can let it do that if that's what you want but from my experience it will take up cpu usage it will take up a little bit of your ram but the cpu usage is the main one to look out for only really in scenarios where i guess it's super intensive like this new york one 639 megabytes and as we are running it yeah it's taking up uh, six percent cpu usage maybe seven i wouldn't be surprised if it goes up to eight every now and again and by the way this is on a 3950x cpu with a whopping 32 threads and 16 cores so your mileage may vary you might actually see a little bit higher cpu usage depending on your system but as long as you're using the smaller ones which most of them are very small in size um the system resources while the wallpaper is running are very very little the wallpapers i'm about to show you keep an eye on the bottom left to see whether it is a dynamic resolution wallpaper or it's actually specifically made for triple monitors uh, some of them were made for dual monitors uh, but they worked really well across all three displays and you'll see uh, what resolution that wallpaper i was running in the bottom left at all times so you know where to look when you're on the website trying to find the specific wallpaper i showed you so we have destiny 2 classes here blue waves that one was pretty simple uh we have drowning in space that one is actually uh it's got some cool animations spectra we'll have another one of this i think that actually like moves around more the toyota gt86 assassin's creed origins i think that's based on like the egypt one alex becker's favorite wallpaper doom bone massacre right here which uh, does also react with leds and everything 2d space very minimalistic smoky fancy color i mean yeah um <laughs> mountains that one was pretty well done stretches across all three monitors another very minimalistic one uh, animated planes blue screen one of my favorites earth 3d with a time and dates that can be enabled or disabled as far as i remember black and orange clock crank the contrast up on that one rgb firewatch a lot of rgb minimal time and date very minimal wallpaper as you can see with this one the death machine crank up the contrast i would recommend you do that if you want to use that one dark side of the moon i think that might be based on like an album cover gray galaxy uh, my camera kind of turned up the exposure a bit too much there tokyo city raining night looks pretty nice lakes and mountains oh sorry mountains and lakes uh pretty good wallpaper as well eddie's nissan skyline r34 i'm a big fan of this one very well done above new york city this one was like over half a gigabyte if i remember correctly so it is a a bit cpu intensive to say the least we got this blue universe one dream space that one's pretty cool if you like i don't know crazy things going on in space toyota supra uh, mark 4 pretty nice 
We've got this 80s arcade. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of that one because we kind of there's too much stuff moving around. We've got that one, which is legit called Triple Monitor Wallpaper Earth RGB Edition. Dual monitor wallpaper, but works really well with triple monitors. Cartoon space. Sorry, this is just like speed firing through wall, wall, wallpaper after wallpaper. A set of Corsa Lamborghini SV stretches across all three monitors. We have a Ferrari 488 right there as well. We have Firewatch day and night. There are so many different Firewatch wallpapers. We have an Earth one once again uh, by Mantastic Bro. We got Neon Waves, dual monitor wallpaper. Looks really, really cool and matches with your Chroma devices quite well. We got the Batman one for triple monitors. Pretty nice. Firewatch, black, gray, and red. I like that one as well. Sand Dunes, one of my favorites. Very simple. We got this one, which legit has a light switch like in the bottom right corner of the monitor, which you can toggle a light on and off. We've got these two razor ones, one black and white and one just white. We got this one, which is very similar to the Spectra one, but it actually ripples. We got snowy mountains. That one looks pretty nice in my opinion as well. Uh, Firewatch blue. Like I said, there are a lot of Firewatch wallpapers, but that one is pretty nice. We've got Fallout 4 Panorama, Corvette C8 Dubai. The, the Dubai one is once again, a massive file size. I think it's half a gig. Battlefield, we got Darth, Raven, uh, Stretched Bullet Storm, pretty cool. We got the Space one, uh, which is kind of mad. We got this Wild Hunt one from The Witcher 3. I think Witcher 3 again. Uh, Aurora Lights, that one is uh, pretty cool as well. Triple Skyline, what else do we have? We have Blue Planet, uh, another kind of like Earth one, stretches across all three monitors. Mountain, Plexus Tech, whatever the hell is going on in here with just like abstract stuff moving around, the Solar Eclipse. And finally, the best wallpaper for last, the uh, VW Scirocco Black Edition by 574K2 Graffiti, dynamic resolution wallpaper right here. Pretty damn sick, dude. This guy put so many little attentions to detail on this car to really match it to my actual car. Uh, it's got my number plate on there. Uh, I think he even put like YouTube on the side of the car with like the tech block stuff. Oh my God, uh, massive shout out to you for making this Scirocco wallpaper, mate. I really appreciate it. But that pretty much sums up today's video. If you do want to add your own music visualizers and or your own time and date anywhere on your wallpaper, I recommend you watch my previous video about these triple monitor wallpapers where I showed off another app that you can use called Rain Meter where you can legit just add a music visualizer on any screen and you can also add a time and date and it can work completely independently from Wallpaper Engine. But if you do wanna learn a little bit more about it, I recommend you watch my video where I actually showed off the software and everything. Apart from all that though, thank you all so much for watching as always. If you're interested in anything you see in this setup, the nano leaf lights behind me or behind the camera, anything in the setup at all, everything is also in the video description down below to links like Amazon and other retailers where you can buy any of the stuff you see here. But apart from that, I hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.